What's up, y'all? Goofy Rexy here. Hope everybody is doing well. And today, guys, we're going to go through a team build guide for the Tango Web team. We've had them out now for a couple of weeks and finally got them built up to where I can do some, some pretty good testing here. As you can see, I have Spider Weaver and 2099 at gear tier 16. I'm currently using them right now in the arena meta every single day and of course i have this team sitting right now on defense we're going to talk about and cosmic crucible um, i'm going to talk about a couple of things today here right so talk about t4s best t4s for each one of these characters we're going to go through iso 8s there's a lot of variation that you can go with in terms of iso 8s you're going to do different ones for arena uh, for spider weaver and for 2099 and you're going to do different uh, in the arena and then you're going to do different um isos for cosmic crucible i uh, also going to talk about build priority, which you can probably already tell what that is already. Um, but what characters should you build first? Uh, which characters should you prioritize getting higher red stars on? We're going to talk about that as well in this video and in team variations, right? So if you're using this, if you're going to use Spider Weaver and 2099 in Arena, what team do they go best with? If you're using them in Cosmic Crucible, there's like a bunch of different comps that you can put together um, in Cosmic Crucible and Alliance War. We'll talk about that a little bit because this team is actually used um, is pretty well, pretty good in Alliance War as well. So let's actually dive into first is talking about T4s uh, for Spider Weaver. As you can see, I have done all of the T4s on her. Um, I think all of them are actually really good. You could probably make a case that maybe you can skip the basic attack, but I do think that all T4s are good and are pretty valuable. So let's actually go through it really quickly here. We'll jump into msf.gg um, to go through it because it's a little bit easier to read there and to kind of follow what I'm talking about, right? So for Spider Weaver's passive, Weaver of Destiny. Uh, so when you upgrade this, this when you upgrade, you put a T4 on this. <laughs> um, uh, when this character or Tangle Web ally is attacked, you gain one ability energy for this character and then you fill this character's speed bar by 10%. The 10% speed bar is huge. Um, I think for me in Arena, it's very impactful. Also in Cosmic Crucible, it's pretty impactful as well. Um, but even more so, gaining one ability energy is pretty good too, right? Because her ultimate ability, massively long cooldown. Uh, so being able to get, whenever she gets you know hit, be able to get the additional ability energy, it kind of, it's kind of a scary moment. Number one, when you're facing her on, on defense in Cosmic Crucible, um, but it's also helpful for you personally as well uh, when you're using this character because that means that she can also get to her special faster, which is a little bit of a lower cooldown, but still also an impactful move as well. So therefore, I would say this is a good T4. Um, and also the speed bar fill, of course, making sure that she can take more turns is also pretty good. That's a pretty simple one uh, to put into her. And then our ultimate ability. So this is the one where you're getting the stun and the trauma. Um, she's also getting the safeguard for two turns, right? So that's huge and helpful. Uh, with this, though, if you T4 it, you're getting a lot of additional damage, 180% additional damage. And then you're also gaining one additional charge. So it goes from two to then three additional three charges, not three additional, but it goes from two to three charges outside of Cosmic Crucible. And then in Cosmic Crucible, it will go from two to then five. And of course, the charges are very important with Spider Weaver because whenever she has charges, she lowers the accuracy of the enemy team by 100%, right? So you want her to have as many charges as possible, helps with the sustain of your team, helps to also really be super annoying, right? It comes with Crucible as well to make sure that your team can, can really do what they need to do. So yes, I like this T4. Additional damage made it all, was like the nice little added sweet um, spot to the, or nice little additional nice thing that I had to this, but definitely the charges are what you really want this for, right? um and then you we go over to her special ability i like the special as well lower cooldown four turn cooldown here um if this character does not have charge you'll gain a charge which you typically can tend to lose outside of cosmic crucible if you're only having the three charges uh so it's nice to be able to get an additional charge back to lower the accuracy again you're getting some extra damage to primary and secondary targets here but then this one transfer all positive effects on this character excluding taunt and stealth to all Tangle Web allies and into two other random allies. This one is a big one for me because I'm using her with my Eternals and cost in Arena. So therefore, uh, and with her special, she gains offense up and then she also gains defense up, right? So being able to then transfer offense up to a character like Icarus. Now it is random, um, but being able to transfer that over to a character like Icarus in Arena, very largely impactful. Uh, so I like this T4. I think it's a good one to put on her as well. 
Now the basic can seem luxury. I, I will say that I think it's a luxury T4 um, or it can seem luxury, but I think it's a good one. So you get additional bonus attacks here when you T4 it. So number one, you for the primary target, you get an extra 75% piercing to the primary target. And then you get these bonus attacks um, as well down here too, you know, at, at um, a different health, 75% um, piercing. So on all bonus attacks here, um, originally before you're doing 150% piercing damage. So that goes up to 200 and I hate math. 225%, uh, right, is what is what this goes up to. So getting that on the additional bonus attacks can sometimes help to eliminate a character. And in arena, what you're facing a lot is your Mamu teams. Um, and when Spider Weaver kills a character, then that means that they won't revive. Um, so therefore, it's kind of helpful to be able to have so be able to have the additional hits on the bonus attacks, additional damage on the bonus attacks. So that way, if you kill off a character, then they won't revive um, if Spider Weaver is the one that does the killing with this basic. So it's kind of helpful. It's luxury. You don't need it. I think passive, ultimate, special, or top tier um, basic, that's when you're trying to min max, right? Um, next thing here, let's talk about Spider-Man 2099. I'll show you what I have on them so far, and I'll talk about what you probably need on them or want to put on them. Um, and I think it's really going to only be as passive. I'll show you what I've done on them so far, though. I've done this passive and I've done this ultimate ability. I really think you only need this passive. I don't think you need anything else. And we'll talk about that. Uh, so passive ability here, spider from the future. Uh, so if you do this T4, you're getting the extra 25% focus for self and tangled web allies. That's really why you want to do it. So in arena, I'm using spider man 2099. I have low stars on him three red three and three right now three yellow three red um i want him to be able to land this slow on morgan Le Fay with this ultimate ability right it's kind of hard to do that if i don't have good focus so being able to boost his focus um also being able to boost spider weaver's focus because it boosts tangle web allies focus as well so that she can land her stun with her ultimate is also really big too so the passive is really definitely what you want uh, why I, they're probably the only one that I would have done um, that, that I would recommend doing here just because of the extra 15% focus. Now, also in Cosmic Crucible, you're getting a plus 15% damage reduction for all enemies in Cosmic Crucible as well. Um, I believe this only procs, though, if they have bleed. Yeah, in Crucible, Spider Weaver is an ally, lower damage reduction for all enemies with bleed. So that only procs when you have bleed. But Spider Man Noir, if you have him, he does his ultimate on turn one, right? Applies bleed, so um, it's it's it, it works hand in hand if you look at it that way. But yeah, passive is probably the only one I would do. Now ultimate, you, I the reason why I did this one, I don't think you need to do it. Future flurry is what it's called. Uh, but if you upgrade this, you're getting a good amount of additional damage, a lot of additional damage, right? And he does pretty good damage on twenty ninety nine. Um, but then I got the additional slow for one more turn. So prior to this, I was applying slow for one turn and then defense down for one turn. Um, now with this T4, it's happening for two turns. So it's nice to be able to get the two turn slow. I don't think you have to do it. It's just, it was just, I like, I've always liked the two turn slow. I've done it with Simulate Spider-Man and it with some other characters before. I like the two turn slow. Obviously, I think the biggest thing in, in Marvel Strike Force, so one of the, the best positive negative effects and positive effects so best one, one of the best positive effects is speed up right and one of the best negative effects is slows I, i've always thought that apart from like trauma and safeguard and all that crap right you get you get what i'm saying i like the slows so therefore i, I went with that but i don't think you need to do it I'm, i just did it because i liked it i don't think you need to go in that direction to do it the extra 100 percent damage is also nice too um special ability here it's a lower cooldown um, it does ability block, uh, but you know, it applies offense up for two turns for two, two random allies that don't have offense up prioritizing tangled web allies, right? You get in cosmic crucible, you're getting, you're getting to prolong some negative effects here. And if we T4, you get an extra hundred percent damage. It's nice, but you're already getting so much already with this ability. I don't think you need the additional damage. I think you're okay. If you choose not to do this one, same thing with the basic. You're already getting some nice stuff here already. Uh, I don't think you the extra hundred percent damage. It's nice, right? I think if you have like re, if you have high red stars on uh, and high yellow stars on Spider-Man 2099, I think that that extra hundred percent damage 
becomes more impactful then but if you have lower red stars like i do and low yellow stars like i do on 2099 right now it's not going to carry as much weight so if you're looking to min max you know after you're kind of put essential t4s elsewhere then this is probably a couple of t4s that you could throw in there on your character if you feel like you need it or if you feel like it's make that's what's going to make a difference in the matchup right all right and then let's jump over to spider-man noah and talk about him um all right, so I don't, and I'll show you what I did with Spider with Spider Man Noir. Zero T fours. I have nothing on him. I don't think you need any of them on him. I, we'll talk about that and talk talk about it quickly. We'll go through it and talk about why. So with this passive ability here, you're getting this plus five on the speed bar for him, plus five percent, and this is procking when an enemy gains a positive effect. Fill this character's speed bar by five percent. I think it's okay. Um, you gain an extra 5% damage, but this is only for him. It's not for Tangled Web Allies. If you were getting an extra 5% damage for Tangled Web Allies, I'd have been like, all right, boo-boo. Yeah, let's do it, right? But you're not doing that. It's just for him. I don't think you need to put this T4 on him at all. Um, ultimate ability here, if you T4 this, you're getting an additional bleed applied to the primary target. You're also applying heal blocks to the primary and secondary targets. You weren't getting the heal block before. You're getting some additional damage too. I think I would have considered this if this was also applying an additional bleed to the secondary targets, but being it's only to the primary target, I kind of passed on that one too. I don't think you need it um, as well. And I, I think Spider-Man Noir is like a, a cool character. He does a, a couple of good things for the team and definitely makes them a lot more harder to defeat. But at the same time, or it makes them harder to defeat, not a lot more harder. It makes them harder to, de to, to defeat. But by just being there he doesn't necessarily need a ton of investment i think i'm um, in special ability low cooldown gear uh you get additional damage and then you fill his speed bar by 30 percent i don't think you need him this speed bar to fill more i think he's okay thinking the amount of turns that he gets already and then basic you're getting an extra you're getting an uh you're always you're getting a chance to always evade in cosmo crucible if you t4 that ah. Oh, I, I think you're good uh, where, where that is concerned. So uh, I would probably skip out on some t on, the, on the, any T4s on him. I don't think you really need any of them, in my opinion. But of course, somebody can probably debate me and say, but you need this one for that. That's cool. You let me know. Listen, I can't be right all the time, right? Um, most of the time. I'm, I'm right most of the time, I think. All right. So let's go back to this here and talk about some ISO 8s. Uh, so in terms of ISO 8, so I think in Cosmic Crucible, um, I like Striker on Spider Weaver. Um, the additional bonus attack. She also applies additional bleeds with her bonus attack um, on her basic. Um, I think is nice. So I would definitely go Striker there with her. Also in Cosmic Crucible for Spider Man 2099, I would also go with Raider. You're getting the attack on turn. He goes no, He goes on turn one. He goes before Spider Weaver does, and then he does this AOE attack, right? Um, so I like, I like being able to sort of apply those vulnerables. It allows then, of course, for Spider Weaver to take advantage of that a little bit later on. Um, so I actually like uh, he actually has a couple, if I'm not mistaken, a couple adjacent uh, hits uh, with his ability. So ultimate is all enemies, and then his special ability you're attacking the primary and then also adjacent targets as well. So I definitely would say because he goes first, because he does some of these AO these AOE attack or multi-target attacks, I think Raiders are pretty good ISO on him. And in Spider-Man Noir, there's two that you can go with him in terms of Cosmic Crucible. It's you can go with Skirmisher if you're concerned about him landing some of these positive effects, some of these negative effects. Uh, you can go with uh, you can go with with Skirmisher on him. I went with Raider. Number one, he go, he's the first character that goes um, for the team. He does this primary and an adjacent hit as well. Um, so I. Once again, it's like being able to take throw out multiple vulnerables that Spider Weaver can take advantage of a little bit later uh, with her with her bonus with her basic and bonus attacks that she gets. Um, man, my mouth is getting dry here. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Um, I like being able to kind of get those vulnerables out there, but you could also go skirmisher if you're worried about landing some positive effects uh, with negative effects. I keep on saying positive effects. But you can also go in that direction as well uh, with Spider Man Noir. Now, in Arena, I have gone with, I don't use Spider-Man Noir in Arena, um, but in Arena, 
uh, for 2099 in Spider Weaver. Before I was able to get my six reds on Spider Weaver, I was actually running Skirmisher on her because I wanted to make sure that she was able to land her stun on Rogue in Arena. Um, now that I've actually gotten her up to six reds, and because I'm already getting the 25, I'm getting an additional 25% boosted focus from Spider Man 2099 when I'm using Spider Weaver. I am actually running Striker back on her again, and I found that that's been a lot more effective, being able to get being able to get more damage out. So therefore, I am comfortably saying that I think Spider Weaver is a good striker, um, and probably is gonna. That's probably where you're gonna put her at ISO Blue Four, or maybe ISO Blue Five, um, and and probably ISO Blue Five in the future, right? Um, for 2099 though, in Arena, because I have low stars on them currently at the moment. And I want to be able to land the slows, which still doesn't happen all the time in arena when I'm going up against this stupid, crazy Red Hulk, Rogue, Dormammu, Emma Comp, right? Like it gets really stupid then. Um, sometimes I don't land the slow, but to be able to give me a higher chance of being able to land a slow in arena, I do have Skirmisher running right now on 2099 to be able to give me a higher chance of doing that. Now, if I get to four reds, and i find that i'm able to land it still consistently if i'm able to i'll try out probably raider on him and see if i'm still able to land it if not i'll probably go back to skirmisher again to make sure that i'm still consistently able to land those slows uh maybe i get lucky and i get him to five reds i'll get him to five yellow right i haven't done my ore pulls on him yet uh but maybe if, maybe if that happens then maybe i'll go in that direction at that point in time but i think for isos here in arena I would go with Skirmisher on 2099 um, and then Striker on, on Spider Weaver if you have the stars for it. If you don't have the stars for it, then I would go with Skirmisher uh, for both her and 2099 in Arena. And then I think Raider or Skirmisher uh, for Cosmic Crucible for Spider Man Noir is a good direction and a way to go in. Um, now, in terms of build priority, I think this is pretty clear. It's Spider Weaver first. Um, and then of course, Spider-Man 2099, you're going to want to use these two characters in arena, um, especially, especially against this legendary soup that we're seeing right now with the horseman team. I definitely think that you're going to want to use these two as a tandem to be able to beat it. Um, and then of course, it's Spider-Man Noir. A lot of people, I will say probably will skip Spider-Man Noir just because of the additional investment. He's also a mystic character. So that kind of eats away a little bit at your gear. I can understand that. I do still think though Spider-Man Noir just makes the team more annoying to beat on defense. So therefore it's good to kind of just have him there for the for just that sake. And then in terms of teams, right? We, I keep on talking about Arena. I'll show you what I'm using in Arena. This is not my team. This is Dogbert's team. Um, so I would definitely consult him or look at his videos as it pertains to you know Spider-Man 2099 and Spider Weaver, but um, against the Red Hulk, Morgan Le Fay, um, Rogue, Dormammu, Emma Comp. This is what I use um, in Arena right now. So the idea here is to get Spider-Man Noir to target Spider-Man 2099 to target Dormammu, um, land a vulnerable on him, but then also hope to get the slow landed um, on everyone else that's there, primarily Morgan. Um, so that then, of course, that Spider Weaver can go ahead and stun a rogue. And then that will, whenever, whenever Morgan the Fae does her ultimate, she's going to miss. Um, if that doesn't happen, if the slow doesn't land with Spider Man 2099, then Morgan does her ultimate. She lands her ability block on Cersei. Uh, so ideally, you want to be able to get Spider Man 2099 to go first, lay the slows, um, and then have Spider Weaver go next so she can do her stun. If that doesn't happen, then you, you can still win the matchup, but it gets get a little dicey. Uh, where that is concerned, but this team works really well. Check out Darbor's video. He kind of breaks down how to go through that matchup. Um, in Cosmic Crucible, I don't have the team saved, so forgive me, but I'll kind of just talk about them really quickly. So for Cosmic Crucible, there's a couple of different variations that you can try. There's Tangled Web with Web Warriors. So like Ghost Spider uh, using um, Spider-Man Miles or OG Spider-Man with spider Weaver 2099, that works. Um, Tangled Web, I've seen like the full Tangled Web team with Kingpin and Taskmaster, super annoying team um, to face, especially because Kingpin spawns with those bodyguards that's haunt. Um, then you have um, Tangled Web with Carnage and then Symbiote Spider-Man. Um, I've seen that work as well on defense. It's such like something that I ran for a while. Um, and then there's also Tangled Web that I've seen as well in Cosmic Crucible with Doc Ock and Symbiote Spider-Man. Um, Doc Ock helps out a lot because of the 
regenerations and then if you put him adjacent next to spider weaver she gets deflect of course whenever you're hitting spider weaver and she's also because you want to take her down first right you're gonna be you're, you're gonna be filling up her speed bar you're also as well going to be giving her ability energy and of course now she's also have she also has the flex now from doc ock right so it kind of gets really dicey um if in those met typical matchups that's actually the one that I've, I've had the most success with on defense is using doc ock with symbiote spider-man symbiote spider-man gives additional boosted health to other spider-verse characters so you're kind of taking advantage um of those tags a little bit there but that's been the most successful that i've written so far that i've seen i don't think somebody i think somebody was a took them three tries to be able to clear it i think twice uh, that i've had it on defense so far with the full tangled web team um and then there's there's probably more um i've I, there's one team that I won't recommend because I just don't want to see this team used on defense. Um, so therefore, I won't recommend it. But uh, yeah, I don't even know why I said that. Um, and then you have War, uh, where I've seen Spider Weaver with Underworld. I think people are probably going to start using I'm not, I'm using the full Tangled Web team, probably most likely with this new Undying team, right? So Hella, and then also um, Zombie Iron Man. I could definitely see that being an offensive Arsenal team. Um, that's used in Marvel Strike Force 4 Alliance War. So that's it, guys. Um, hopefully this was helpful information. Let me know if you guys have any questions about anything. Glad to go through it. I know that I kind of sped through some stuff. Um, I got to stop doing that, right? I got to stop speeding through stuff because I, I, I don't want it to be confusing. But if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'm always happy as well. I think a lot of you know to respond back to comments and interact with you guys so if you guys have any questions about anything just holler at me um but listen appreciate you guys watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already hit the notification bell so that you know when the videos do go live this stuff guys helps out with the youtube algorithm to make sure that the video gets pushed out more and more people can see the information and content right so don't forget to do that it definitely helps the channel right uh thank you guys so much love you so much guys thank you for watching the video until next time as we blessed y'all be safe